Hi guys, I hope you're all doing well. So today's video, as you can see from the title, is a H&M and Zara haul. So this is basically a big one. There is a lot of stuff on this rail. I've got the odd pop of colour here and there, but I really wanted to shop for basics for the season because one of the big things I've been doing since just before lockdown is having a really big clean out and declutter. I'll actually leave two videos in the cards for you and in my description because I filmed my big process of like clearing out my entire wardrobe, sorting out all of this for spring and summer and I've cleared out a lot of stuff. So I've cleared out a lot of just random bits that I'd had in my wardrobe for ages and I've always loved but just don't wear. Like, you know you've got those items, everyone has them, they've either got tags on or they don't, and they sit in your cupboard, and you love them, and you say a million times that you'll wear them, and you never do, and they stay in your cupboard for like five years. So all of that kind of thing is gone. I now have literally got one cupboard's worth. So like, behind this rail is a cupboard. That is the only clothes I have, apart from this little bit here that you can see. But either way, I'm gonna get started with the video, and I'm actually gonna do accessories first, as always, and I'm gonna firstly apologise about my voice. I've had hiccups the entire morning, and it's made my voice keep, like, cracking and going really croaky, and I don't know why, it just is, like, breaking all the time at the moment, so bit weird, sorry about that one. And I've also got my hair scraped back. What were we thinking about the hair scrape back situ? I've never done it before, but I quite like it. Anyway, sidetracking. So I'm gonna go in with accessories first, so I've got two from H&M and one from Zara. So the first is actually this, which is a belt from H&M. And this is like a really nice kind of rope style belt. I don't really know how you best tie it. I think you kind of like put it through the loop and then put it through there. But I just thought it was really nice. And it's a great style if you want a belt around like a dress or something, but you don't want like a really chunky leather belt. And then I also picked up a bra, which has removable pads I've just noticed. So this is the bra. It's just like a really cute little lacy number. It's ribbed and it's just really sweet because I don't really have any white bralettes and I thought this was a really cute one to add to the collection. Great for under t-shirts and stuff because it's really like minimal and it's also the kind of thing that I would wear around the house as loungewear with sweatpants as well. So basically a double-ended situation because I can wear it in a multitude of ways. And then the final accessory is from Zara which is $29.99 and it's just a pair of sunglasses which I'm gonna have to like pull all this stuff off because they've got a lot of bits. But they're just these ones which I thought were really nice. So they're kind of like an oversized like thick frame with the cat eye detailing and they're slightly brown but I thought these were really cute for summer because they're massive but they're also quite like I don't know I just really like them I thought they were really nice I didn't really have any rhyme or reason I just thought they were cute also before I jump in with the rail this is actually from H&M from a previous haul video I'll leave the haul linked in the cards for you but this haul video was so like, I got some really, really good pieces in this one, and I have everything still in my wardrobe. I love it all so much. Some of it is actually on here, so, like, little jumpers and stuff, but I really recommend checking that one out, because a lot of you seem to really enjoy the pieces in that, and I had really good feedback from it, so I'll leave it in the cards. But I'm going to jump on the rail now and start with H&M. So, first up, we have this little top, which, again, you'll notice, like, a recurring theme here, that it's all kind of, like, very girly and floaty and neutral, and there's, like, a kind of overall palette I guess you could say like textures and fabrics and styles but this is the very first item which I got in a small yeah in a small from H&M and it's just got these really cute little tie sleeve bits here tie strap tie sleeve the sheared little detailing around the body here and then you've got this kind of oversized little like puffy bit for your boobs <laughs> I don't really know what to call it but it's really really cute it kind of fits similarly to this one so you've got like the tight shearing and then the little floaty bit but I really like this I think it's really really sweet and it's a nice one to just wear with like shorts or denim jeans or something in the summer I would wear this with blue denim and some trainers or some like little sandals or espadrilles or something because I think it's a really cute little kind of feminine touch on jeans and a nice top Oh my god, I'm so sorry about my voice. I honestly am getting annoyed by how croaky it is. <laughs> like, I don't even know if you can hear how croaky it is, but it's irritating me already because it sounds so broken. And then next up we have this, which is a really adorable little play suit. So I saw this on the model and thought it looked the cutest and I love little things like this. Like, I have so many play suits and dresses of a really similar style because... I just personally really like white play suits and jumpsuits and all that kind of thing. I just think they look really cute. So this one was added to the collection. This was actually got with kind of more, not formal summer, but like a more girly summer in mind. I'm bringing up the girly side of me that's never really been there. Like even when I was a kid, I wasn't really that girly. So I'm enjoying it and I'm trying to add like the odd little 
not super girly piece into my wardrobe but like slightly feminine so that it's still in keeping with everything else but I just like it I like adding the odd touch so this was one of the bits that I got which is this cute play suit it's got a really nice kind of dress style so I don't know if you can see but you can't really see the definition of the shorts you've got the v-neck here with the little ruffles the sleeves have this cute little shearing on which is a really big trend at the moment everything seems to be sheared and then on the back you've got the same v-neck so it follows like the same silhouette and then you've got this cute little tie so you can obviously tighten or loosen that as much as you want depending on how like tight you want it to be but i thought it was really really cute and it's the perfect thing for just like everyday summer it's also a really nice fabric as well which is a selling point then next up we have this which oh what size did i get the play suit in i believe an extra small yeah i got an extra small in the play suit this I got in a small and I really regret it because I tried it on yesterday and it's a little bit too long. Like the shoulders are a bit too long so I need to size down. But this is from the Basics collection and it's just a really simple, super, super soft ribbed bodysuit. Again, got the deep V that follows on the front at the back. I really like it. I really, really like it. I just need to get a size down. So this is going to be returned and swapped for a size down. It's so soft. Like honestly, so, so, so soft. And you guys know I'm a sucker for a bodysuit. I just think that... I love vests and stuff, but bodysuits are just easier because they can't ride up. You don't get the awkward line around under your trousers where, like, the top's tucked in. So I just find them really, really easy and convenient, and personally, I just love wearing them. I actually think I've got an excessive collection of bodysuits as opposed to, like, t-shirts or anything. Then, next up, we have this, which is a cute little broidery skirt. I had a skirt like this similarly from H&M before and annoyingly where my hips grew is one of the things that I grew out of and I can't wear anymore because my hips are just a little bit too wide for it so that has been sold annoyingly and upsettingly because I really loved it but this is my replacement so it's kind of like a cute little wrap skirt style although it's not actually a wrap skirt this is just like an excess bit of fabric you've got the little tie here which again hasn't really got a purpose it's just a feature and it is an elasticated waistband but it's really really cute and it's also the perfect length but it's really really cute i got this in an extra small and it's so nice i really really like this and i'm hoping the length is okay because i haven't tried it yet but the broidery detail is really really cute and it's also double lined so inside there is like another little skirt bit then we have a dress which is slightly out of my comfort zone if you've watched any of my videos before you will know that i don't really wear color it's something that's very new to my wardrobe and i love it but it's very very new to my wardrobe so this dress is really, really cute. It's just a simple cotton dress, little like smock style with the little cap sleeves. And you've also got the V-neck on the front here. I do think this came in a couple of colors. It's just really sweet and really simple and really lightweight. So it's good if you're going on holiday or you just want something really simple that you can chuck on. Um, I really, really like this. I think it's super cute and definitely something I will get a lot of wear out of if the colour suits me when it's on. And then finally, we have these trousers, which are a trouser style to a pair of shorts that I bought last summer, which are actually still sat in the cupboard. They really need an iron because they're really, really creased. But I lived in them and they were literally a short version of this. Super, super comfortable, really easy to wash, wash really well. So I thought I would get the trouser version because if I wear those a lot, then I'm obviously going to wear these a lot and... I just think that it's a great investment because this will take me through spring and summer as well as being like something nicer for the British summer where it's not necessarily hot all the time so you need some like longer pieces but it's still nice for like if I went on holiday I'd wear it with a crop t-shirt or something. I got these in a size 8 and they fit really nicely. The one thing I will say is I think they're meant to be slightly more culotte style however my five foot three body is definitely not having clots in these they are definitely slightly more ankle grazy which i personally like i think i've grown to love the trend because it's a trend that i have to embrace and i really like them and then i think i've got one more or two more things one more thing from h&m and then we're into zara so the next thing from h&m is this one which is actually going to be probably one of my most worn tops of the year because i love this style so i got an eight in this and really really like it it's got the little kind of cuffed elasticated sleeves and then you've got this really cute little broidery detailing along the bottom and it's kind of like a frill tie front something super easy to throw on with denim shorts or flares or a skirt or whatever it is that you want to chuck it on with this is just the perfect top and i literally love this i think it's so 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 cute I can't wait to get it on and it doesn't have like an underlayer or anything but I think you could totally get away with wearing like a little bralette or a little cami underneath and you wouldn't see it or you would see it but it wouldn't be like obvious if that makes sense because obviously if you had like a little like nude coloured cami or like you know you can get the seam free bodysuit um seam free bralettes and like urban outfitters and stuff that would be great under that 
Then moving on to Zara, we have quite a few items. A little bit more colourful, but quite a few items. Actually, I think we've got the same amount. Okay, there's two more items from Zara than there was H&M, but I'm going to try and whiz through because I know that I've been talking for a long time and I don't want this video to be excessively long. So the first item is this one, which I think is so cute. So it's like a little cropped cardigan style. And the actual main body of it is like a really nice knitted fabric. And then the sleeves are this frilled, like typical broidery anglais. And it's so cute. So this was $25.99 and I got a small, which is the smallest size you can get in this one. And it looks like it's going to fit really nicely. It looks like it's going to be really cute on. And I think where it's quite a close knit in the like crochet style i think it will be quite covering as well so you could get away with a nude bra and you won't really see too much through but it's just really really sweet and i really like it again great with like the linen trousers or some white like jeans or something very very good styling options there then i got this which i was going to get the matching trousers because this was part of a loungewear set but they were sold out in every size but i got the top half which is this and it's just this really nice like oatmeal-y kind of nudie colored ribbed top with the buttons up the front and it just honestly looks so cozy i actually got it in a medium because i wanted it to be really oversized and it only cost 29.99 which is a steal in my opinion because this is so nice and slouchy and i would wear this as loungewear around the house but also i think this would be really cute if you were like of an evening in summer if you just tucked this into like some white shorts or like cream shorts and just wore it with trainers or like chunky sandals or something because i love like really oversized kind of chunky sweater types with shorts in the summer i just think it's really cute especially when you live in england and it's always cold really really good quality for zara too okay then next up we have this top which was kind of a wild card for me i didn't know if i'd like it but it looked really good on the model and as soon as i got it out sam even agreed like it's such a nice top that i probably think i'm going to keep it and i really, really love it so it's just got these really over the top like frill kind of ruffled sleeves with elastic in them and then it's like this really cute little cropped like really oversized puffy top and i've actually just realized sticking my hand under that it's actually got like an elasticated little crop top style underneath so if you were to wear this and it was windy you've obviously still got that level of protection and it means you could wear a bra underneath and you won't be able to see it because obviously you've got the big straps and you've also got the little kind of um elasticated crop bit to cover your modesty a bit i'm hoping that it looks good on because i obviously haven't seen it yet you can see in the cutaway now but i'm really hoping it looks good on because it's such a cute top and it's like the perfect really pale pastel pink so it's not too pink and it's not too colorful but it's like that nice little something then we have this top oh how much was that and what size so i got that one in a size small and it's 25.99 and then I got this one, which was $7.99, again in a small, because a lot of what I got seemed to only be in like small, medium and large, which I feel like Zara used to have a lot more extra small and extra large, but for some reason, everything I've picked really doesn't have that option, which I don't really understand. But anyway, this is what I got. So it's this really cute little ruffle t-shirt, which is adjustable. So you've got the little bow here, so you can like adjust it or pull it down if you wanted to. I got this for summer, obviously, really great alternative to a plain t-shirt with jeans or Again, what I always say with jeans, because I think jeans are the easiest thing to style, but you could wear these with anything. Like I'd wear these with smart trousers. Like I've actually got this kind of style is what I wear a lot on holiday. So I wear like linen trousers with t-shirts like this and some sandals. And I really like it. It's just a really good basic to have. They did have a few other colors and 7 dollars is a bargain. And then next up we have these shorts, which are just plain black high-waisted ripped shorts. And the reason I got these was because I have one pair of high-waisted shorts, which are black and they are like a tie waist one with like turn up cuff. And I really like them, but I just wanted like a plain black pair that I can wear kind of all around. Um, and the other pairs of shorts I have, 90% are from Zara. So I knew they were a good one to get. So these are just high rise. I got them in a European 36. I don't know what that equates to, a UK 8, and they were 19 99 and honestly, Zara denim shorts, I've got like four pairs of, and jeans, I wear mostly Zara jeans, and I love them, their denim is really, really good, it's worth trying a few sizes, because I've noticed that um, I've got two pairs of jeans which are identical, but one pair's ripped and one pair's not, and one pair I've got in an extra small, and the other pair I've got in a small, because of the size was just really different, but it's worth trying it and bearing with, and just getting the size that fits, because a denim is really really worth having a look at because i really like it and it's cheap <laughs> then we have this t-shirt which was kind of a wild card again i just thought it was really sweet i love the color of it this was 7.99 and i got a medium so that i could tie the front up and just like make it look really cute and give it a bit of a different style because i love t-shirts wow that wind is strong because i love wearing like plain t-shirts but i like doing it a bit differently like i don't just like wearing them i like if they're like cropped or tucked or whatever 
like it's actually probably quite a rare occasion that you see me wearing a t-shirt like this is five that i wear a lot but i don't really wear t-shirts all that much and then last three things so i got another play suit fairly similar to the one before in terms of it's got the deep v and a little tie at the back but this one's a little bit different in that it's got this cute like lace detailing around the middle and down the sides as well as having the little like ruffle here i really like this i think it's really sweet i love the texture of it i love that it's got the little shorts there obviously and i like the fact the back is open um, and you've got this little elastic bit here as well to help you get in and out. It's just really cute. I really like it. Um, I got this one in a small and it was £25.99. Again, don't know what it looks like on. I'm really hoping it's cute on because it's so nice on the hanger. And I think that the V-neck should actually be quite a good height. But we'll see when I put it on. But I really, really like it. I think it's really sweet. And then this is another bodysuit that I picked up. So I actually already have this one in black. And I really want it in the nude colour but it was sold out in my size. And it's like a really nice kind of like... I don't know what the fabric is but it's really really soft and it's a seam free one it does have the double layer inside so you can't see any of your boobs or anything and i've been on a hunt to find the perfect ribbed body or like high neck body for so long now if you've watched any of my recent hauls you'll know that nearly every single haul i buy a ribbed bodysuit or a high neck bodysuit and i'm yet to find one that rivals my abercrombie one which is no longer in stock because I want to buy another one of those, I can't do it now because they're not there, so I've been desperately trying to find a replacement and so far it's fallen on deaf ears every single time and every other one that I've bought has been like still a bit see through so you can still see a bra or whatever. This one I know for a fact you can't because I've got friends who have got it and said that it's great and I've also, the fact that it's got the double layer and stuff is fab, but also I have it in black already and I know it fits really nicely. So this one is £12.99, again comes in small, medium or large and it's really really comfortable and really really soft. And then last but not least, we have some trousers, which, okay, so I found a H&M haul a while ago, and I put in it a pair of cream trousers, and I did a return, and stupidly put them in with the return by accident, and now they're sold out online. So I returned them by accident, and now I don't have them anymore, and I'm really upset about it, because they're sold out, they've not come back in stock since, and I'm really frustrated. So I've been desperately trying to replace them with something else, and I picked up these ones because I thought these were really cute. So these are kind of slightly different so they've got the big button on the front here with the belt loops and everything so they're like really nice smart tailored trousers you've got pockets the back is kind of like a chino style with the pockets there but the trousers are kind of like tapered at the hem so they're kind of like a bubble leg which i i like but i'm going to see what it looks like on and we'll see if i end up keeping these and i got these in a small and they were 49.99 there is an extra small available and i'm going to give it a go because they look quite big but I don't know what they're going to be like when they're actually on me. So they might end up getting swapped, I'm not sure. But for now, I think they should fit quite nicely. We'll just obviously see. You never know with shops and sizings. But that is actually the end of this video, guys. It has been a very long one, I'm sure. But I really hope you enjoyed me kind of whizzing through all of the items. Let me know if you like the kind of more brief summary of each piece rather than me giving you like a full spiel because i think some i found like a mix like some people really like when it's like a short and snappy haul that like gets through every item quickly but other people like like a really detailed description of like the fabric and the quality and the like design features like pockets and stuff so let me know your thoughts because i'd love to know for future reference for filming i really hope you enjoyed this haul video i hope you liked seeing a mix of the two brands both of them actually arrived super quickly so h&m was on order I think maybe like two weeks ago so it did take a little while to get here but not like excessive it was all right it didn't take too long um zara came within three days and most warehouses i think are now back in like full working order obviously they're just taking safety precautions there's less people working so you do have to be aware of the slight adjustment in time frames like postage seems to be a bit hit and miss at the moment like sometimes you order and it turns up straight away sometimes it takes ages it just depends on the everything's a bit over the place in a minute but I really hope you enjoyed this video guys sorry about the lighting and the croaky voice and all that kind of thing but i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you in my next one bye